For a long time I had heard about the singing dunes, these mysterious dunes that emit tones. It's similar to the phenomena of barking sand that you can experience on the beach when you're rubbing your feet into the sand. But I had never really seen the large dunes until I came across an article about Eureka Dunes in Death Valley. So I grabbed a buddy of mine and we headed to Death Valley to explore and experience these singing dunes. Now to get the sound effect that we were looking for, you have to have the right conditions. And apparently it has to be really hot so that you can have a very nice dry surface layer on the dune. Now below that is usually a layer that may be one or two meters thick, followed by a solid layer, well, relatively solid layer that's moist and much, much firmer. And therefore now with these three layers, you have that mid layer that is sandwiched between the surface and the deeper layer that is an area where the sound can resonate. And this is what creates the hum that we were after. Sometimes when the wind blows, the whole dune will hum by itself without any activation or human influence from the top. So what we were going to try to do, because there was no wind today, was to try to set up small little avalanches on the top that would activate and trigger some of this hum. Pretty awesome out here. This is phenomenal. Nice time of day to be out here when it's still cool. Um, but during the day we're expecting possibly up to 100 degrees. We'll try to get some humming of these dunes later on. Here we are on the way up Eureka Dunes. Uh, we've probably been hiking about half an hour or so. You can see the truck in the background. And the summit is not too far off. Just over the bend, right? Or just over the hill, as we say. Eureka Dunes are by no means the only ones in California, but they are the tallest in California. And they were formed possibly 500,000 years ago. It's a razor's edge of a dune. And supposedly, when we slide on the left side, we're going to create the hum. Okay, now we're on the summit, and you can see a smaller dune field to the north. These are pretty inaccessible, and the only way to get to them is to hike over to them. All right, let's try for this humming, humming sand. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Holy mackerel. <laughs> that was good. So the ripple marks stop, and then you get your steep slope down. Well, we have one more thing to do to verify the layers that are beneath these dunes, and that is to look for the, the stiffer moist layer. And how better way to do it than to look for plants? And you can see there's a few plants, and they must those roots must be tapping into that moist layer. So what we see here are the lower layers below the, the surface layer and the sandwiched uh, soft layer. This is the harder moist layer that enables the booming sound. In very few occasions you get to actually see it. And this is a nice verification of that stiffer layer, probably about a meter below uh, the top surface of the sand or the highest part of the sand. So if you come up close to these little layers you, and you actually feel them, they're quite moist, okay? And so this is the distinguishing factor that enables the humming. You have to have a moist layer at the base 
and then an intermediate layer, and finally the finer surface layer that's only a few inches. This is such a cool place. Highly recommend it. And make sure if you ever come up here, it's about a 700 feet high dune or series of dunes, but definitely worth making them sing. <laughs>